Two invisible predators, one from China, one from Israel, both claim air dominance. But when the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon faces the F-35I Adir, who truly rules the skies. Today, we uncover the ultimate fifth generation stealth showdown, East Vez West Dragon Vez Adir, and the results will shock you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, your ultimate source for defense, military, and cutting edge aviation technology. Today, we dive deep into an epic face off that defines modern aerial warfare, China's Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon versus Israel's F-355i Hudir. Both are fifth generation stealth fighters designed to dominate in a world where information, radar evasion, and network warfare matter more than sheer speed. The J-20 China's pride represents Beijing's leap into advanced stealth combat. The F-3T-50I, Israel's customized variant of the American F-35, is a fusion of stealth, digital dominance, and local ingenuity. These two aircraft showcase not just engineering brilliance, but also two different philosophies of air power, one focused on regional control and the other on global strategic deterrence. Over the next few minutes, we'll break down their design technology, firepower, and real world, world combat potential. And by the end, you'll know which one truly holds the edge in a fight for 21st century air supremacy. At first glance, the J-20 and f 35 ui may seem similar. Both feature stealthy angular shapes and internal weapons bays, but their design philosophies couldn't be more different. The J-20 is a large twin-engine stealth interceptor built for range and speed with a canard delta configuration that gives it agility and long endurance. It's designed to strike far beyond China's borders and challenge U.S. and allied aircraft in contested regions. On the other hand, the F-35I is compact, single engine and optimized for multi-role flexibility. Its stealth profile minimizes radar cross-section using advanced coatings, precise angles, and embedded sensors. Israel's variant includes customized electronic warfare systems, homegrown command and control integration, and software tuned for local missions, while the J-20 relies heavily on speed and long-range sensors to spot its targets first. The F-35I counts on its unmatched sensor fusion, stealth coding precision, and battlefield networking to dominate unseen. In the world of stealth, detection equals defeat, and both nations have taken radically different routes to stay invisible and lethal in hostile skies. The heart of any fighter is its engine, and here lies one of the J-20's most critical challenges, China's WS-15 turbofan, intended for full stealth and supercruise, is still being refined. Most operational J-20s currently fly with older WS-10 engines, limiting their range and thrust to weight ratio compared to Western designs. The F-35I, however, is powered by the Pratt and Whitney F-135, one of the most advanced jet engines ever built. It offers tremendous thrust, reduced heat signature, and remarkable reliability. While the J-20 is faster with a top speed of around Mach 2, the F-35I's focus is on stealth, networked awareness, and precision targeting rather than sheer velocity. The Mighty Dragon may dominate in straight, line speed, and altitude, but the Adir's engine integration, heat management, and energy efficiency give it better performance in real world missions. In combat terms, it's not just about flying fast, it's about flying smart unseen and long enough to strike first. Here, the F-35I's technological maturity gives it a consistent operational edge. When it comes to battlefield awareness, the f 3 ui is a flying computer more than a traditional fighter. Its distributed aperture system and advanced radar can detect, track, and prioritize threats automatically, feeding data to the pilot's helmet display in real time. This allows Israel's ADIR to operate as part of a larger digital ecosystem, linking with drones, air defense systems, and other jets in perfect synchronization. The J-20, meanwhile, uses China's AESA radar and long-range infrared sensors for target acquisition. Its avionics are improving rapidly, and it's equipped with advanced electronic warfare and data link systems. 
However, China's networking and software integrations still lag behind Western standards. The F-35I's unique ability to share live data with the entire Israeli defense network makes it a force multiplier, not just a fighter. In the modern era, the pilot who sees first and shares best wins. And in this domain, the F-35I Adir stands ahead as the most connected and data-driven fighter on the planet. The J-20 carries a formidable weapons package. Its internal bays can house long-range PL-15 air-to-air missiles and short-range PL-10s, while external hardpoints allow extra payloads when stealth isn't critical. These weapons are designed to strike opponents long before they can retaliate. The F-35, on the other hand, focuses on precision and versatility. Inside its stealth bays, it can carry AMR, AM air to air missiles, guided bombs, and specialized Israeli munitions like the SPE precision system. In full combat configuration, it can switch between stealth and heavy payload modes, depending on mission needs. Israel's modifications also include enhanced weapon compatibility, allowing the ADIR to use local missiles tailored for regional threats. The J-20's longer range and missile reach are impressive, but the F-35I's targeting precision, weapon integration, and adaptability make it deadlier in multi-role combat. It's the difference between a long-range sniper and a digital assassin, both lethal, but with very different styles of engagement. Modern air combat is not just about missiles and guns, it's about electronic dominance. The F-35I excels in this arena, integrating Israel's domestic EW systems that jam, spoof, and deceive enemy radar. These systems can adapt in real time to evolving threats, making the Adir extremely difficult to lock onto. The J-20 also carries advanced countermeasure suites, including radar warning receivers, jammers, and infrared decoys. However, the sophistication of Israel's EW integration, coupled with US-level software architecture, gives the F-35I a clear edge. In a high-threat environment filled with radar systems and missile batteries, the ability to remain electronically invisible is as vital as physical stealth. China's J-20 is improving, but the Aders battle-proven EW systems are designed for real-world operations in one of the world's most hostile airspaces, the Middle East. In the electromagnetic battlefield, the F-350I doesn't just hide, it fights back digitally, turning enemy radar into confusion and chaos. The J-20's large frame gives it impressive range, over 2,000 kilometers without refueling, ideal for deep penetration missions across Asia Pacific. It's built for long-range interception, targeting assets like AW, ACES, or tankers before they even approach contested zones. The F-35I, though smaller, is optimized for multi-role missions, air superiority, strike reconnaissance, and electronic attack, all in one platform. Its combat radius is shorter, around 100 kilometers, but Israel's aerial refueling systems extend that significantly. In terms of mission philosophy, China's J-20 emphasizes deterrence and strategic reach, while the F-35I focuses on surgical precision and real-time intelligence. The Adder isn't designed to roam far. It's designed to dominate efficiently within complex, high-threat airspaces. So while the J-20 may outlast in range, the F-35I outperforms in mission adaptability, efficiency, and operational reliability, crucial factors in real combat. Combat data separates prototypes from true warriors, and here the F-35I stands undefeated. Israel is the first nation to use the F-35 in actual combat, striking targets across the Middle East with stealth precision. These missions have refined the jet systems and provided invaluable operational feedback. The J-20, meanwhile, has yet to be tested in real combat. While it patrols sensitive zones like the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait, its actual combat performance remains unproven. The F-35I's pilots train extensively in networked warfare and joint operations, constantly improving tactics through real experience. 
China's J-20 squadrons are growing fast, but their exposure remains limited to training and deterrence patrols. In real world readiness, the ADIR holds the upper hand, not because of theory, but because it has faced real fire, real missions, and real success stories, the J-20 symbolizes China's emergence as a near-peer competitor to the U.S. and its allies. Its very existence reshapes the balance of air power in Asia, forcing nations like Japan, India, and the U.S. to rethink defense postures. The F-35I, in contrast, strengthens Israel's qualitative edge in the Middle East. It acts as both deterrent and diplomat, projecting power, securing alliances, and maintaining superiority against evolving regional threats. Each aircraft represents national ambition, China's desire for regional dominance, and Israel's focus on survival through technological supremacy. Globally, the F-35 program unites dozens of allied nations in shared defense networks while the J-28 remains exclusive to China. This global network effect amplifies the adder's reach far beyond its borders, making it not just a fighter, but a strategic cornerstone of collective air power in the modern world. So who truly rules the skies, the mighty dragon or the adir, the J-20's long range? Powerful radar and stealthy design make it a formidable hunter, especially in Asia's vast theaters. But the F-35I's unmatched avionics, battle-proven systems, and integration into a global network give it the real-world edge. China's J-20 represents rapid progress, a leap into stealth dominance, but Israel's F-35I stands as a mature, combat-tested, and digitally superior system. In direct confrontation, the Adder would likely detect and engage first, a decisive factor in fifth-gen warfare. However, both aircraft symbolize the future, nations moving beyond speed and firepower toward data-driven air dominance. The battle between the Dragon and the Adir isn't just about who wins, it's about who evolves faster. If you enjoyed this in-depth comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more powerful military analyses. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Who do you think would win in a real clash? Until next time, stay tuned to the channel that brings you the sharpest edge of global defense power.